these plants! Last time for the trellis system, we showed the setting of the posts. It took a minute and 36 seconds, super easy. This time we're talking about what we're gonna use for the galvanized wire. We need to have a piece of wire to string between the two. The purpose of this section is to show that you don't always need to go buy something from the store. Reduce, reuse, recycle. We have this old barbed wire here. It also is pre-perforated with different sections, so it already has a measuring device. It'll actually help me with space. You don't always have to buy what you need. You just modify and use what you have on hand. All right, let's get to it. All right, we've pulled the barbed wire up and got it strung across. What I like about it actually is that this is four inches in between each section, so I can measure it out pretty accurately if I want. Now that these are across, I'm gonna show you guys the trellis system. This is called the tomahawk. It is the play on the words for tomato hook and tomahawk. This will hook on like this. When it's done, you'll lower it and lean the plant over and hook it like this. This has 100 foot twine on here. And the other end, this end right here, is gonna be anchored to the plant. Attached to this piece of barbed wire right against one of the barbs, this comes all the way down to the tomato plant. So not gonna anchor this to the ground, we're gonna anchor this to the plant instead. There is a little part right here in the crooks of the clamp. That is where the twine will actually go. And then that all together is gonna to go down and we're gonna anchor it gently to the plant, just like that. Once it's there, we're gonna gently give it a single wrap. Now this tomato plant knows it's there, it's gonna start growing up this twine. The goal is, anytime we do a harvest, it will always be at waist height. We're never gonna reach up for a harvest, and we shouldn't have to reach down for a harvest after the first initial harvest. Can we get that done for you right now. One of the most important things to remember when dealing with the trellis system is smashing the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Damn it. I got it right over there. Oh, it's still filming. It's smashing the like button and subscribing for the YouTube algorithm. And here we are, we're done. For the squash, this isn't really gonna work out very well, I don't think. We're gonna run it for a little bit to see as an experiment. And if it doesn't work, we'll just get the standard panels that you plug in and the trellises up the side, but there's just multiple arms that are growing. Your tomatoes and your squashes, by definition, they don't like growing up a trellis. If they had their way, they would grow along the ground, sprawling out. Each part would touching the ground would become its own root system, try to get eaten by animals so they can spread their seed everywhere. With that, occasionally we'll pop in, we'll lower and lean it. And here is a 10 day, no effort update. It's actually been 12 days. I was in Idaho and Montana doing some lean consulting. I did not water this at all. I have not touched it at all. And we're going to give you an update on what's going on. All right, check out the size of some of these plants since you saw them last. Look at this tomato plant. Here's my cowboy hat for scale. These things have gotten enormous and I have done nothing. Check out this one, it's growing all funky. It is time to update the trellis, everything seems to be in good shape and uh, we're just gonna roll right along with it. No effort, no one had to stop by. There was no watering. In fact, my brother was like, hey Hugh, I stopped by your place and you have an awesome looking garden. He's a much better gardener than I am. And he was like, where's your watering system? How do you water it? And I said, I don't. That's how good this thing is. Definitely in need, TLC. Oh, look at this. Got a little pepper, a banana pepper. Good job, banana pepper. This trellis system is superior in my opinion because of the following reason. Check out this plant. It has grown to the full height. It can't grow anymore, right? This is the end of the trellis. It's about four foot high. Well, this trellis system is called the lower and lean, and I'm gonna demonstrate that for you right now. So what you do, you take this up, and you just lower it, one revolution. Now, now that it's lowered, then you will lean it through direction. And it's just gonna keep growing. It, as a plant, the plant's gonna think it's growing up and up and up and up, but when, in reality, you are always gonna have the fruit bearing sections here. This one is about to go next. I'm just gonna lower it and lean it over. The plant will go with it. It is the next day already, and check this out. We're gonna have to be doing some more lower and lean action. This guy's growing up. It was almost touching this morning, and it fell back down. This one grew so high that it fell, and it's wrapped around this neighboring trellis. So we're gonna have to get that fixed.
All right, guys. I'm going to lower this guy even a little bit more. Look at that. I've lowered them and leaned them over. Today, we're going to end the video right here. Here is a teaser for an upcoming video. The reason why I'm doing gardening stuff with lean manufacturing principles is because many people do some kind of gardening or outdoor work. So these videos are trying to teach lean principles and things that we already do. That way, we can go about our business, learn. When you get to work, you can be more productive, you can knock it out of the park. Your boss can say, oh my gosh, this guy, this gal, we need to give them a raise. All right, and with that, go out there and eliminate your struggle.